Hey, Phil. Yeah, no matter what your thoughts are on Dr. Wilma Wooten and the job she's done, you got to admit that that job, being a public health officer, that's a tough job to have. In fact, in the first three months of the coronavirus uh, pandemic that we're in right now, seven state health, senior health officers here in the state of California resigned their positions. Yet, through it all, Dr. Wilma Wooten has stayed here in San Diego County, steadfast and dedicated to the job. For everyone out there, please join me in welcoming the inspiration for this scholarship. Outside the Elementary Institute of Science in Emerald Hills, community leaders came together to honor Dr. Wilma Wooten. She has faced a lot of things that public health officers might face in a difficult environment, but it is exponentially worse when that public health officer is a woman of color. And yet every single day she gets up and she continues on. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher calling her a role model for generations of women. The San Diego Foundation announcing they're naming a scholarship after her, part of the Black Community Investment Fund. It's a two-year scholarship. Anyone who's pursuing a health sciences education and is the first in their family to go to college can apply. The scholarship intended for people who may have started at a disadvantage. I often say it doesn't, uh, what, what's important, doesn't matter where you start, but where you end up. Dr. Wooten has worked for the county since 2001 and is a public health officer since 2007. But since March, she's been thrust into the spotlight, the face of the county local coronavirus updates, and at times the target of criticism and threats. They are detractors, but you, you can't focus on that. That, that. For me, my way to describe that is it becomes background noise. I know it's there, but I don't let it uh, uh, determine or drive what I do. And I also recognize that people are afraid, uh, people are scared, and, and this entire uh, pandemic has uh, taken away liberties. Uh, that people are used to. Yeah, and that scholarship is part of a overall million dollar fund that is aimed at driving diversity into underrepresented fields. Phil. Jeff, thank you.